wonder what went first. <laughs> the whole damn thing did. <laughs> well, this pump's definitely got the guts to do it. Well, that just goes to show there ain't no knife of doom coming from this thing. As one guy was saying, and I, I do understand where he's coming from, that several thousand psi of water and several hundred or thousand litres of it at that pressure would be a very destructive weapon and easily cut someone in half, but that box ain't hurt. <laughs> Car tyres a little bit different, but at the end of the day they're not good for much more than 150 psi tops. I mean I'm talking burst pressure. Safe running pressure is about 44, 45, cold. Uh, you wouldn't want to go much more than that. Uh, trucks, truck tyres are another thing, they're about 100 psi running pressure, probably 200 maximum, and a burst pressure of many, many more. So, yeah, that worked quite well. Okay, next up we've got an apple juice bottle. <laughs> Let's see if the juice gets loose. Damn, it changed in shape. It's not rectangular anymore. <laughs> you got a little bit wet there. But yeah, it's only one one surge at a time. Okay, last one for today, uh, coke bottle out of the uh, cardboard box. <laughs> There's also a uh, laminated windscreen in front of the camera this time. No flying water is going to hit me expensive camera. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think it's dead now. That was pretty awesome. <laughs> Funny thing is the label on neither bottle broke. The label's still intact and glue. It's a bit stretched but it hasn't split. Even the lid went at the same time. Wow, that's cool. <laughs>